What's going on, Hit Squad? This is your main man, Hitman, and I am back. Once again, with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, this is for the family heirlooms, all our jewelry, the coins, arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. June 9th and as I say each and every video smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way and if you're watching just browsing just checking out the channels just checking out the cycles just checking out me in general make sure you guys subscribe that's the most important part subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day if you want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video these daily videos make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter at hitman miyagi yt how to spell that will be in the left hand corner of the video down in the description box below and there's a hashtag directly below the video all of them spell my name which is the instagram and twitter i think there's there there's a facebook whatever i mean i don't post on facebook but there it's available but I mean, you know, it's there. Anywho, um, first things first, Madame Nazar's location. If you're looking at the map, you should see Madame Nazar is down here by Boger Glade area. She's right here and she will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know or not of America. How I personally get to her when she's in this area right above the word Boger Glade, right outside of Rhodes, or between Rhodes and Saint Denis. Um, I fast travel to Rhodes. I fast travel to Rhodes and I ride the, I take the train tracks down to her location, which is right out the way. Or, you know, cut across this field, make sure you watch out for trees and tree stumps and um, battle gear <laughs> because this is the uh, war area I forgot trenches there's trenches over. It's, but yeah <laughs> next thing is next uh, I wouldn't move my camp down here or try to move my camp just simply run from roads which there's a fast travel right here you spawn around this post office just run down there from there simple it's super easy the next thing that we need to get to is the Caribbean rum, antique alcohol bottle. This Caribbean rum is right outside of Van Horn today. It's right there at the waypoint. If you guys can see it, this is right next to the eye. There's an overlook platform or outlook platform or whatever you want to call it, but it's right here at this location. It's all the way up at the top. Climb the ladder, there's a little platform, then climb that ladder, there's another platform all the way at the top. That's where you will find your Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle. Uh, there's also a family heirloom, which is an ivory hairpin right here next to this shack right here. It's in the backyard right next to this shed, or it's a house, that's a shed, not a shack. Right there in between the house and the, the shed. Anywho, let's get down here to where we normally do business. I'm going to try to put you guys in frame. So you can see everything. The cycles for today. Wednesday, June 9th are. Family heirloom cycle 3. All our jury cycle 4. Coin cycle 4. Arrowhead cycle 1. Wildflower cycle 1. Antique alcohol bottle cycle five, all tarot cards cycle six, bird egg cycle six, and fossil cycle one. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram. Let's get to these things that we will find across the Lemoyne area of the map, which um, I'm going to try to get through them kind of quick. But there's two things over here at this location right here there's a family heirloom 
which is the one I did not mark, which is like right here. Right here at this location, there's a dig spot. You don't need your metal detector, but you do need your shovel, which the all the stuff for, I think all the stuff to start your roll, I think the roll, the collector's roll is on sale if you don't have that. The um, the shovel and the metal detector is on on sale as well. If you kind of if you're kind of like me and you start another account, today would be like one of the best days to start another account, especially if you're the type to spend money on gold. <laughs> Buy a little gold and then make sure you get the collector's roll because all this stuff is on sale. I think if you gain five rolls this week, um, you'll get a bonus or something like that. It's, it's some stuff going on with Madame Nazar. So this is the, the best week to collect things and all kinds of stuff like that. So get to it. Sorry about that. Anywho, right here at this location, <laughs> like I said, this is a metal hairpin. This metal hairpin is in front of this burned down house. Uh, there's a dig spot. You, you don't need your metal detector, but you do need your shovel. Right here at this location is an antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a scotch whiskey bottle. There's an overturned boat over here. And there's like a pile of rocks that you can stick your hand in. When you stick your, you'll come over here to this area. Your character, you'll get a prompt to search the rocks or search this area or something like that. But your character will grab it, grab the antique alcohol bottle out of the pile of rocks. Anywho, let's get to our next marker, which is over here by the H and Marsh. Right here at this location, you guys will get a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a tortoise shell comb. It's inside the house, right on the other side of the dinner table. You should see like a little wash table, whatever. It's right on that wash table uh, against the wall. Let's go down to our next marker which right here is a coin. This coin is randomized. I cannot tell you guys what it is because it is randomized. I did that. <laughs> but come over here at this location with your metal detector and that's what you will get. Right here, at, right across the way, you guys come over here with your metal detector once again and you guys will get a family heirloom. This family heirloom is randomized as well i cannot tell you what it is but when you come over here with your metal detector you will be you will get a prompt to dig right at that location okay at our next marker you guys will get a bird egg this bird egg is a egret egg e-g-r-e-t it's in a tree shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow uh, right across the way at our next marker, you guys will get another random fossil. This fossil is randomized as well. Can I tell you what it is? Come over here with your metal detector. I think there's a tree stump over here in this area to help you indicate, you know, where the spot is. So it may be around that tree stump somewhere. So keep an eye out for that. Let's go down to back. Well, let's go into the city underneath the E in Lemoyne. Right here at our next marker, you guys will get a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ebony hairpin. It's right here along this first front wall. There's like a wall of windows right here. And then there's like chairs against that wall. There's a three-seater chair or a bench right here at this location. And on that three-seater chair or bench, that's what you will get a ebony hairpin there's also a tarot card back here if you go if you're already inside the house go up to the second floor into the back of the house and out to the balcony and on that balcony you guys will find a ten of cups tarot card which is on the table on that balcony let's go over to our next marker which is inside the cemetery right here at this location you guys will get a Benais topaz ring that's b-a-n-a-i-s topaz ring is inside this crypt right here uh, as soon as you go in past the gate there's a little shelf it's sitting right on that shelf let's go over to the right which right about 
here, you will find a tarot card. This tarot card is a seven of swords and it's on the table next to a small broken card. Let's go to our next marker, which is down towards the bottom of the city, right here at this location. Right here, you guys will get a antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a London dry gin bottle. Um, this antique alcohol bottle is in the second train cart. If you're coming from this direction, there's one train car here, and then there's a train cart here. This is the second train cart. Jump on the first train cart and jump into the second train cart. And in one of the corners of this thing, uh, of this train cart, you guys will find the London Dry Gin Antique Alcohol Bottle. Let's go to our next marker, which is, if you guys see exactly where that is, this is a cardinal flower. This cardinal flower spawns over here in this area each and every day and helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on. Um, there's so much I want to tell you guys, but I don't want this video to be an hour long. Uh, there's two things down here. There's a Thorburn turquoise ring inside the wardrobe in the first room to the right of this house. And on the shelf immediately to the left of the door, there's a three of pentacles inside this house as well. No, it's inside this shack right here. This little shed or whatever. Go get those. There's a family heirloom inside the Braithwaite Manor home. There's a cherry wood comb upstairs in the room with a chest at the foot of the bed. So make sure you check the rooms and the chest at the foot of the bed right inside the Braithwaite Manor home. Let's go up to Rhodes, which there's not really much, but there's a couple tarot cards I want to tell you guys about. There's a tarot card here inside this gazebo. This tarot card is a Four of Wands. And there's a tarot card here right at the top corner of this building. You enter the, the top of the building back here, and the card is right here. So... This card is a Four of Cups, so go grab that as well. There's also a Random Lost Jury right here. Make sure you guys play, pay attention to these very faint lines in the map because it will help you out so much. Um, let's go to, well, this house before we go to our last marker. Right here at the Springfield Flats home, you guys will get one, a ebony hairbrush is inside the home in the tall wardrobe. As soon as you walk through the door, look straight ahead. There's your tall wardrobe. Open it up and you will get a ebony hairbrush. Um, inside the home in the corner right here, there's a shelf. Or they, I think they call it a cabinet, but it's a shelf. And on that shelf, you guys will see a nine of cups right here in the corner, right there at that location. Let's go over here to our last marker, which is a random arrowhead. I cannot tell you guys what arrowheads you will get, but right here at this location, that's what it will be, a random arrowhead. It's right here. You come over here, use your eagle eye, and you should see it. It's just a dig spot. You don't need your metal detector or anything like that, but that's pretty much it. Thank you guys uh, for watching, but I'm gonna tell you guys these cycles one more time. <laughs> one or two more times, don't leave out the video yet. The cycles for today, Wednesday, June 9th, are, or once again are, I don't know, Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All of Zuri Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 4, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 1, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, all tarot card cycle six, bird egg cycle six, and fossil cycle one. Once again, family heirloom cycle three, all lost jury cycle four, coin cycle four, arrowhead cycle one, wildflower cycle one, antique alcohol bottle cycle five, all tarot card cycle six, bird egg cycle six, and fossils cycle one. <sighs>
Thank you guys. Now, this is the part that I do it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, all that other good stuff. Uh, any reaction is a good good reaction, so make sure you guys leave some type, type of like, comment, um, words of encouragement, anything. Anything to help me out because any type of reaction is a good reaction. Um, thank you guys for watching. I said that part already. Uh, it's your baby man, hit man. And I'm out.